Start eight, 12 down. A seven letter word for ship commander. Starts with C. Uh, Captain? Not now, Kevin. I'm trying to work a puzzle. Just jiggle the handle for now. Please, no. Pretty please? Absolutely not. You'll lose my money. Please, this is important captain stuff. I need quiet. Ship commander, ship commander. What seems to be the beef, kids? I want to order these sea chimps, but I don't have any money. He wants to borrow mine. He's too lazy to work for it himself. She's right, Chase. Doing an odd job is a great way to earn some quid. You know, money. That's what I thought you'd say. I've got it! Cabbage! Captain, don't you suppose you should be doing captain things rather than working a crossword? You don't want to appear lazy. Lazy? I'll have you know a crossword is no picnic. Oh, I likes picnics. That does sound like fun. Midge, set a course for a nice sunny spot. And bring a football. The captain. Come on, Midgel. Don't you feel like kicking back a little? Hmm. I know, just the spot. Roger 13. A picnic, a picnic, a picnic. Jason, I know a way you can get a free sea chimp. Really? A sea? A chimp. Let's sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. Sigil! 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 Kevin! We're going on a picnic. So, what are we doing here? I had to stop off for some supplies first. Soda pop sandwiches, you know. And don't forget the chocolate bars and marshmallows. Oh, great. I love eating s'mores. Eating? Oh, no. I need them for a new fuel experiment. Now, don't take all day with your science project stuff, Doctor. We're here to get in, get supplies, and get out. No nonsense. I assure you, my experiments are not nonsense. What about that time you tried to make glass invisible so you could see through it? Well, it worked, didn't it? Hey, what'll it be today, kids? How about a fruit basket to go? Hold the fruit, throw in a few sandwiches. One basket to go. So where are you off to? Zidro's taking us on a picnic. Ah, yes. A picnic's a great way to relax after a lot of hard work. Hard work? I don't think Jason knows what that means. Well, make sure to watch out for ants. Oh, there won't be any ants at this place. We're going to ride your 13. I don't mean beware of ants. I mean you should watch them. Watch ants? Oh, sure. Haven't you heard the saying, go to the ants, you sluggard? What's a sluggard? Look it up. <sighs> Look closely. They're a great example of hard work. Nothing lazy about them, no sir. What's wrong with being lazy? Well, just think. If I didn't work around here, nobody gets served. Dirty dishes would pile up. Pretty soon the whole place would stink. Like Jason's room. <laughs> Old Saul says the lazy person wants many things but has nothing. But the person who is diligent and hardworking truly has it all. Now, you want to be diligent, right, kids? Actually, the picnic sounds more fun. <laughs> I'm sure it does. You just keep an eye on those ants, you hear? We will. Is it just me, or is he weird? And what about that cherry-flavored sunblock experiment? You have to admit, your tongue doesn't get blistered anymore. <laughs> Place. 
we're going to ride your 13. <laughs> oh, you thought you would have the day off, did you? Well, wait and see what I have in store for you, my penguin friends. <laughs> wait! The penguins are your friends? I thought you said... Quiet! You're interrupting my maniacal laughing fit. <laughs> Dear me. What's got your knickers in a knot, Doc? Well, I'm scheduled to run a diagnostic test on the Harryhausen Ray, but it's in the back of this storage bay and I can't get to it. Harryhausen Ray? What's that? Oh, it's simply a device that halts movement on a molecular level. In the Queen's English, Fidge. Uh, yes. It stops action, freezes things in time and space. Classic, but it looks like you could use some help. Oh, why, thank you. If I see anyone available, I'll send them round. Hello, Jason. I hear you're looking to earn some extra money for sea chimps? Yeah. Well, the storage bay is in a bit of a mess. What say I hire you to clean it? Hire? You mean like a job? I'm kind of busy. Maybe later. A dog? Turn the page for me. I can't reach. There's one, two, three, four, five, six sandwiches, six juice boxes, pretzel sticks. Am I forgetting anything? Cucumber dip! Apple crisps. Beans. Hair gel. It might be windy. Midgel, are we there yet? That's a negative, but it won't be long. Ah, oh, come on, Midge. Can't you hurry it up just a little? I bet this'll make us go faster. That! No one touches my buttons but me. Just like I said, Rigel 13, the perfect picnic spot. Blue grass, green skies, and no ants. Don't you mean green grass and blue skies? Green grass? What planet are you from? Oh, great. There's a shady knoll over that hill that would be a great spot to eat lunch. Ah, uh, this is the life. Oh, Jason, thank you for cleaning the storage bay. This is a well-deserved break indeed. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, Michelle, go along! Water! Please! <sighs> Thanks. I don't know what happened. This planet was so clean when I was a kid. Perhaps we should tidy up a little. We can eat afterward. Wait a minute, I didn't come here to work. I came here for a day off. Well, we can't have a picnic in this mess. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, look there. There's just enough space to lay my blankie. I mean, blanket. The picnic is saved! But what about all the trash? What about it? Hold on, I have an important message. Oh, it's not me. It's me, from Admiral Strap. I'd better take it on the ship. Duty calls, probably some science type questions. <laughs> or geeky science fiction type questions. Um, I'm coming too, to get a broom. 
What about us? Do we have to... Orders, Captain? Men, I order us to start our picnic. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo a tisket, a tisket. I love my picnic basket. It's full of snacks and cakes and wax and salads made of plastic. What? Dr. Fit, come in, Dr. Fitchell. I have an important mission for you on Rigel 13. Ooh, that's funny. We're already here. What? What are you doing there? We're here for a little R&R, &R, as ordered by the captain, sir. Just tell me that nobody is actually on the planet's surface. Um, well, <laughs> the divine surface, and perhaps on. Uh, I knew I should have brought my sunblock. You can borrow mine. Cherry flavored? Natch. Oh, man. Wouldn't you know it? I hope it's not going to rain. Like this. Ah! The ship! Go for help! Dr. Fitchell! Dr. Fitchell! Mayday! Help! SOS! Anything! Why doesn't he answer? Orders, Captain! Run! That planet! Invaded by giant creatures! Need you to stop. Danger. Use the ray. The ray. Excuse me, Admiral. Call waiting. Hello? 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 Anyone there? Hmm, that's odd. Hmm. I'm back, Admiral. Admiral? Oh, hmm. I seem to have cut him off. Oops. Isn't there anything you can do, Doctor? My dear girl, I'm a scientist, not an exterminator. But there must be something. After all, the Admiral was calling you instead of the Captain. Why, yes, you're right. He must have known that these invaders can only be stopped by my special ability alone. <laughs> I wonder what it is. Well, I think we're safe here. Wow, oh, you dropped my communicator. I can't contact the ship. Oh no, I've lost mine too. We're doomed, doomed. Hey, I don't touch your buttons. You don't touch my do. No, Captain. You put it there for safekeeping, remember? Oh, right. Dr. Fitchell, come in. Can you read me? Come in, Doctor. Are you there? Yes, Captain. We are here. Whoa! Oh, 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 my goodness! Doctor, what's going on over there? It seems we are getting a little carried away. Oh, no! Look where they're taking us! The day started out so peaceful. What is to become of us? What? Where did the ship go? Where's Kevin? I'm a cowboy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Oh, what am I gonna do? At least this is one mess they can't blame me for. This is all Jason's fault. Oh, how so? He left my crayons in the sun. Now they're all melted. Oh, that. He's too lazy to put anything away. Have you figured out why the Admiral wanted you to save the day? I've been giving that some thought. 
in his message, he kept saying, Ray. You know, at first I thought he was talking about my brother-in-law, Ray. What? But the more I thought about it, I think he was suggesting that I use the Herryhausen Ray to stop these creatures. Well, where is it? In the storage bay. <laughs> Jason was supposed to clean this room. Oh, we'll never find it. Told ya. Jason's fault. So, Doc, any luck with that ray yet? It'll take at least an hour to get it functional. I hope we have time before we're burnt to a crisp. I suppose you want us to come and save you. Perhaps you could create a diversion and distract the beasties while we ready the device. We're on our way. Um, I was just kidding about the saving bit. Have you seen the size of those things? <laughs> yeah. there was something I could do to help. I mean, as long as it wasn't too hard. <laughs> so this is all Cowardice is doing. I might have known. Sluggard, the person who is diligent and hardworking truly has it all. I get it, I get it, I'll help you! Hey Kevin, guess what? These guys are friendly. I think they just want to clean up. They just like to work. I know. I hope. Invasion is his doing. I might have surmised. Any luck with that ray thingy? Yes, it's all ready. We just have to open the hatch and aim this at those minions of evil. Oh, <laughs> not there. Get him, Doc. Yeah, aim at that big one with the funny orange hat. What? Dr. Vigil, Vigil, come in. Is this connection working yet? If you can hear me, you must stop Cavitus with the Harryhausen Ray. Cavitus? I have sent rangers to assist your crew. Rangers? Vigil, he's getting away. At least stop his friends here. No way, you got it all wrong. Well, you've got a lot of explaining to do, little buckaroo. The ants are good guys. They're Federation Trash Rangers. How do you know that? That's what they told Kevin. No. Stay. You're free now. Go on. Go. It seems they were sent by the Admiral to protect us from Cavitus' scheme. He tried to ruin our visit here by dumping all this trash. The ants were just very diligent and busy cleaning up. They were putting all the garbage in this giant anthill. That's not a volcano. They must have thought the ship was part of the trash. But there
are a great example. They don't stop until the job is done. Unlike some of us. Go to the ant, you sluggard. What's a sluggard? It's a lazy good for nothing. I looked it up. I'm sorry I was lazy, Fidgel. I didn't clean out the storage bay, and if I did, well, maybe we'd have caught Cavendish this time. Oh, there, there, lad. There's always next time. I should have known better than to slough off, too, when there was so much to do. Tisk, tisk. Oh, um, right. Me too. Can't very well have a lunch without them. Not to mention Jason. I wonder how his chores are coming along. About finished, love. All done, Grandmom. I certainly am proud of you. Finishing your chores right away. Whatever got into you? I just wanted to be diligent. Like the ants. Oh, will wonders never cease? My little Piccadilly is industrious as ants. A lazy person wants many things but has nothing. But the person who is diligent and hardworking truly has it all. Just like the good book says, love. Just like the good book says. Now, I remember the first time I went picnicking with your granddad. We were sacking our way through the jungles of Bolivia. Up to bed now, and don't forget to say your prayers, my pets. And thank you for the nice day and the lovely green sky. And helping me be diligent and not lazy. And for new friends. Hey, can I have my olive back? I'd say he worked hard and should get to keep it. 